there everybody and welcome. I'm Cindy Daychuk with Queen Bee Creations. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new, hit subscribe. Keep us coming at you. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Um, today, this is kind of a quick little bonus video. Usually I'm doing two a week. Uh, Christmas is a little bit busier. I'm constantly doing stuff. So I came up with these little Christmas trees. So these are pieced together. They were uh, cast offs from somebody else that they said, mm, I don't know if you can do anything with those, those pieces or not. Um, and I took them. And so putting them together this way formed a Christmas tree. So all I did was I, I glued them, clamped them together, um, let them dry, and then I just nailed them onto this cut base. So nothing more magical than that. And, um, I just, I just figured I'm going to do a quick little craft with it. What I want to do is use this beautiful Christmas black and white decoupage paper from Jamie Ray Vintage. Perfect, it's so nice. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna start by painting these out dark with uh, dark and decrepit because I'm going to be doing some distressing. So I'm going to paint them out dark with dark, dark and I'm going to paint them dark with dark and decrepit by DIY, which it will serve like a stain for the raw wood. And especially the backs of these are very rough. I haven't sanded them down. So I'll sand those down later. I want to have some of that dark showing through. And then I'm going to give them two coats of beadboard by DIY. That's it. That's all the magic. So I'm going to get all the painting done and uh, come at you when we start doing some of our cutting and decoupaging and piecing together and all the fun stuff. Really basic. See you soon. I have two coats of the white over top of the dark and decrepit. And now, now is the fun part. Now is being able to take a look at all the different designs that are on this. Um, this, this big stag is gonna be too big. So it doesn't fit, but I've got lots of different pictures and images all over here so it's a question of deciding which which ones I want to use and I'm, and I'm looking at these birds and I'm thinking they could be awesome coming up here so what I do want to do is I don't want um, where I'm laying this out I don't want to have sharp Cut edges so I'm just going to roughly tear these now you could use you know a container of water and a brush and you can just kind of brush it along where you want to tear it and just gently pull the paper apart for an organic look or or you can just tear <laughs> so whichever you want I just want to be careful as I go kind of in between these two images here so that I can Still save that other image. And really, all that we want to do, so this flat edge is okay because I'm going to overhang it. So the flat edge goes along the bottom. This part will, will be able to come off. And we've got all those beautiful birds there. Now, I need to look for what I want here, what I want to have coming down. So I'm not looking at it overlapping all the way, but I am looking at wanting to have some images up through here. 
and I'm just kind of looking at the ones that I have. So rather than you watching me tear paper, I'm going to, for both of the trees, kind of rip out the design elements that I want on this, and then I'll come back at you when I've just gotten them laid down and we'll carry on with the next part together. All right, I've got kind of three pieces per each tree and I kind of like the idea of using these together. So I have Merry Christmas going up here and Joyeux Noel going up over that direction. So they could be individual, but they could also work together. So it's kind of cool that way. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is now I'm using um, liquid patina from DIY, which is a great decoupage medium. You can, you can use the decoupage medium of your choice, but this is a great, uh, great medium and a great sealer. So I'm gonna use it for my project. So you just wanna put your decoupage medium down and then lay your paper over top. I'm going to do the top piece next, just so then I, I get the placement of my, my Merry Christmas, which is going in the middle, and up across here. And then once that's all laid down, coat it again. We'll worry about the edges and sanding off those edges once it's all dry. And I'll be distressing a little bit over the paper as well, but all those edges will kind of cut away so I don't need to worry about um, tearing them or cutting them the exact length. We'll get that after. Okay. One, yay! I'm kind of, I'm loving the, the black and white look of this, quite honestly. So, kind of a nice, just kind of um, subtle little little look for Christmas. It really could go on on any shelf or tabletop, up on your bookcases, you know, on um, maybe your your buffet as a bit of a, a vignette, you know, so. And I just wanna make sure I get enough of that name coming through and I'm just ripping away where that leaf, that leaf was, so I saw the leaf. Okay, so all that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this to dry overnight so that tomorrow we can do our sanding and then any final additional kind of distressing um, that we might wanna do once we take a look at um, how it looks after the sanding. So I may wanna add a little bit of, um, you know, maybe some, some uh, distress ink from, from IOD, use, use the uh, ink for that, or I might want to use some black wax or, or brown wax or some decrepit dust. I mean, we've got tons of options um, between uh, the IOD and the DIY lines, but I'm going to want to see it after I do the sanding to see what's going to look best. But I'm thinking that they look pretty darn cool right now, so... I'll see you once they're dry. All right, the trees have had overnight to dry, so they're all set for sanding. And this is what it looks like when we're done the sanding. So I am going to take you over. I'm going to flip you on the music because you don't want to hear the sander, but I'm going to use my mouse sander. And what I'm going to focus on is sanding these edges one to smooth them out, but that's going to ultimately rip the paper off. In essence, we're just doing this with the sander, and you can see that it immediately just takes that paper off right in a perfect, right in a perfect line. But this back is pretty rough. 
we're gonna get it sand down so we get some nice wear spots on it. And then I'm gonna come back at you to show a little bit of um, the addition that I did. I'm gonna sand the front off too. I want this to look a little bit worn. So I'm sanding the front. We're gonna reseal it so it's all okay, but we've got a step in between. So I'm gonna take you on over. Um, you can be part of the whole messy sanding process and then I'll come back and uh, I'll show you the one little, little trick that I did to highlight that tree a little bit more. All right, we are all sanded down. Now, I don't know if you can see clearly or not, but you see that this edging is a little bit darker and a little bit more defined than this. We had put the dark and decrepit underneath and you can see um, the, the dark areas where it's peeking through, but I wanted a little bit more definition. So what I did do was I took my stamp pad with the IOD black ink and I just ran it up the edges. So it just gives it a little bit more definition. So if you look at the base now, let me do half for you. Can you see that line on this side? It just gives it a little bit more of that definition, a little bit more of the wear. It kind of just makes it stand out just a little bit more. So we're not doing tons and it's a very light kind of touch that we're doing. But you can add, again, kind of brushing it a little bit, a little bit more um, shadowing here and there too if you want especially on a little bit on those corners we want that aged look you know so i'm just kind of using it to add just a little bit more definition now you could always take a q-tip and and kind of rub it into your stamp pad and apply it on with a Q-tip if you want, if you're afraid of getting it too heavy or you just definitely wanted it particularly light or you wanted to use the Q-tip, and I've got one here, to be able to rub it in like here. This is where my join is of those two triangular pieces. So it's got a little bit of a, of a wear in there and I, and I just want to be able to just scrub a little bit of that scrub a little bit of that in. So I just roll that Q-tip in that pad and then I'm able to just kind of lightly take it down over top of these pieces. Got a loose piece of, of my bake parchment paper there. So let me just sand that off of the tip. All right, so once we've got the aging how we want it, got a little bit of that, that black happening, we've got a little bit of that aging happening, where and how, then we are just going to take our liquid patina and seal it one more time. We have to kind of reseal this paper now because I sanded it. And because of that, I took off some of that liquid patina that had kept it on there. So some of that top coat has been taken off. And I just want to put it on again to kind of make sure that that paper is sealed and give it a little bit more, a little, little more extra protection in there more than anything else. Okay, and I'm good to go. So... I am just going to be taking my brush and I'm gonna seal these babies up one more time, let them dry, 
and then they're done. So a nice, quick, simple little craft using some leftover boards, somebody else's scrap boards that they were kind enough to just pass over to me. But you can see using a really nice decoupage paper, how quickly you can transform these into a piece of holiday decor for you. I've got another um, decoupage video coming for you. Another quick one, a little dollar store hack for you coming next week. Um, but check this out. These become super cute. So don't overlook scrap pieces of wood and how they could be combined and used. Add just a little bit of decoupage paper and you're good to go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Drop in a couple of comments. Let me know what you're thinking about this. If you give it a try, I'd love to see some pics. But until next time, 